For this tutorial, we're going to add a front flip to our character. So we're just in a blank uh, template. And the first thing is we can do one jump. So we're going to change that super quickly in our third person blueprint, BP third person. And on third person, I'm just going to type in jump and then jump max count, sort that to two. And now we can do a double jump, but it looks absolutely awful. And what's the point if it doesn't look good? So we're going to go to fab, add and download these infinity rogue animations. Now these are not free. These are about 20 GBP and fab's having a hard time understanding that I own these assets. Now they're downloaded. I'm going to go to content, find the animations, find the root motion, find the forward flip and retarget it to the Quinn skeleton. Quinn simple and find the flip and I want the root motion forward flip. There we go. I'm going to export that and dump it. And then now inside the mesh, I want to come over to the ABP. So click on this little folder. This is where the animations all happen. But the Quinn one is a child of money. So we're going to open money because that's where everything is. And then I'm going to add this sequence. We're going to get character. And we're going to current jump. Get jump current count. And we're going to promote that to a variable. And we'll connect then free to jump current count. And then inside the anim graph. So on the left, we go to anim graph go to main states and from this jump, we're going to open this up and we want to do a blend by ball. So we're going to disconnect this wire. We're going to right click and type in blend by ball, blend poses by ball. And we're going to connect that to the output and this MM jump will be connected to false and our new flip will be connected to true and we're going to get jump current count and check if more than one. So if greater than one, then we're going to do that flip. And then just to correct this note that's on here, we're going to untick loop animation. So now if I do this, we can see that I do a front flip. It's not going where the character should be going. There's a problem with the animation. So let's go to content front flip and it's probably because we haven't turned on enable root motion because we might have not turned on root lock so we'll go and try again there we go so now we can do a front flip 